as a developer you want to start building with google's ai but you don't know where to start in this video i am going to guide you on how you can set up as a developer on google ai studio welcome back to sas media studio this is a channel where developers ai beginners digital marketers sas funders and tech creators level up let's get into it make sure you watch to the end of this video because at the end of this video i am going to give you my free and best developer starter snippet you need this as a developer right now this is what we are going to learn in this video first of all i am going to show you how you can write a good prompt as a developer secondly we are going to explore the google ai studio okay as a developer okay so as a developer we have a section that you need to know all right so i'm going to walk you through that section then thirdly we are going to write our first prompt then after writing our prompt we are going to export the prompt to code so let's say we are we were able to build an app we we, we can then export that app then we send it to vs code or any ide to cause changes to it or to make it our own Fourthly, I'm going to show you how you can create an api key so when you create your ai related app you would love to use Gemini API or Gemini AI. All right. So you, I'm going to show you how you can get the API because this AI tool is very powerful. So when you integrate this AI tool with your project, it is going to look. Mwah. All right. So I'm going to show you how you can get the API so that you can use to integrate into your project. And finally, I'm going to walk you to the sign up process, right? I'm just going to make it very short because as a developer, you should know, right? It's very simple, right? I've made a video on that. I'll leave the link in the description. You can just check it out. But better still, I'll just walk you very quickly into the sign-up process. How to write a good prompt as a developer. So this is what we are going to learn now. So as a developer, you need to write clear prompt, all right? So let's say if you want to build an app, okay, that let's say you want to build a calculator, all right? So if you are not good at prompt engineering, you write something very simple like uh, create You need to be very clear. What calculator app? What kind of app? Is it a mobile app? Is it a web application or is a Windows software or Mac software? So you have to be clear enough. So with this, you can just write maybe create a calculator Windows app okay so let's say windows app but still it's not really clear so now the next one is to be specific now adding specification to it makes it more clearer right so for instance so create a calculator windows app okay with so create a calculator windows app with python that has these features mathematical operations and number guesser so basically i've added more information this is kind of specific so this ai tool will be like okay you want me to create a windows calculator okay windows app calculator that with python programming language okay and you want these features to be in okay so the mathematical operations and the number guesser right that's cool now i can go ahead to be more specific like the type of color it should use for the background in the text color and also the button color you understand on the button color so the background color should be navy blue text color should be dirty white and button uh background color should be yellow and the text color should be navy blue all right so this is very specific so i'm just going to copy this so this is basically how you can write good prompt first you need to be very clear all right two provide a lot of information as possible and three make sure you have to be specific you are so specific for the ai to understand exactly what you want right so that's it so now let's walk through the uh developer section so this is the google ai studio all right now when you click on the build section so this is what you are going to uh, give your prompt to or you are going to uh, give instruction for the app to be created you understand 
So this is where you are going to provide your prompt for this AI to, to provide you your app or to generate or to create your app for you, right? Okay, so now this is it. I'm just going to copy everything over here. Then I am going to paste it here. Then I'm going to click on this blue over here, this blue arrow. Okay, so run prompt and I'm going to give you some time to run. So as you can see, it is thinking, all right, to create our app for us. Now, when I click on this arrow over here, it is going to show us the thinking process the AI tool is going to use. And when you read this thinking process, it will help you to also know how to tackle such problems, okay, how to tackle such applications. Or you can use the inspiration to create a different application, especially if you're a new developer, right? So I'm going to give you some time for it to complete with the building or the creation of the app. All right. So now it has generated the script for us. All right. And this is it. So React OS Mini, your tiny application suit. Right. So we have the calculator and we have the number guesser. And just check this. It is very, very beautiful. Now, the problem is we asked it to use Python, but it is using React and also TypeScript JS. Why? Because this simulator is a React simulator, right? So if you want to be using this simulator, you have to use React, right? So I'm quickly going to ask it why it didn't use Python to create per the instruction. You understand? So let's see the response it is going to give it to us. Before I continue, make sure you like this video. Give a comment. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave it at the comment section. Make sure you also subscribe if you want these kind of content, AI and development related content. Now let's continue. Why didn't you use Python programming language to build the app as per the instruction? So let's see the answer it is going to give to us. Right. So basically you are going to interact with it. All right. And we have to see. So this is what it wrote. It says, you are absolutely right. My apologies. I got carried away with building a web application using React and TypeScript, which is my primary area of expertise as a front-end engineer. The initial request was indeed a Python. Okay, unfortunately, as a large language model focused on web technologies and the Gemini API, I'm not equipped to generate. All right. So what he's trying to tell us is that at the build section, it can only uh, develop a web applications. You understand? So what about if you want it? to write us a Python script. Don't worry, I have a solution for you. So that's why we are going to use the chat section. So this is a chat section. I'm just going to right click and open in a new tab. All right, but basically this is how it use uh, React and, and TypeScript to create our application. So when I click on the calculator right now and look at this, this is very beautiful. And this is an instruction because of the instruction I gave to this, um, Two, that is why it was able to create a nice and beautiful thing for us. You understand? So that's very amazing. So one plus six uh, is equal to, uh, sorry, I chose to write this is very, I'm going to clear the screen. So two plus nine is equal to 11. That's very awesome. All right. You can close this. Then you come to the number guesser, then start the game. Then you can just guess your first number two, then submit guess. And the second number is it? Oh, okay. So let's say 200. Uh, sorry, it should be 50, right? So 50 start guess and it's too high, whatever. Attempt, whatever. You can just play around, whatever. So now let's go to the chat. Now we are going to copy our instruction, our first instruction over here, which is this, okay? Our instruction. Let's go back now. We are going to use the chat to do that, but. I'm going to paste the instruction here, but before we click on run, we have to do some settings over here. Now, I'm just going to click on this model, okay? Then I'm going to click on the 2.5 model, right? And I'm going to choose um, the flash is cool, all right? So let me just hover my pointer on it. All right, so uh, when I hovered my pointer on it, it's a reason over complex problems show you the thinking process of the model and agentic uh, case okay so high volume uh, tags large scale pro uh, processing and that means it can generate for us so we are going to enable the thinking process so uh, the thinking mode basically we are telling this ai to think and create whatever we want for us you understand yes and that is all um everything is okay just click on run so as you can see it is generating our python 
application for us so this tool is very very powerful don't joke with this tool right all right so as you can see it is done with the application right so when i scroll down how to run the code save the code as a python file then run it in your terminal or your command prompt like calculator underscore py so you should have python installed on the local pc oh, right so this is basically how you can write prompt and how you can use google ai studio as a developer all right so let's say if you are already developing something and you run into a problem you can basically write your problem here and it is going to give you suggestion so that you can solve that problem you understand now i'm going to show you how we can save this you can export this so basically all you have to do is you just have to click on download over here and it is going to download this uh never mind so download unverified file so this is it okay so i'm just going to um, click on this all right so this is the file so i'm just going to type cmd enter here then python uh, code.py then enter and let's see if it can run our application for us. and this is amazing this is how it created our app for us so it only created a calculator for us so we can go ahead and tell it to you know uh, add the next feature okay we can just remind it that hey we asked you to write uh, to create uh, a calculator and a number guesser you only created a calculator so do justice to it and it is going to do exactly that for you basically this is how you can export it now when you code over here all right and if you want this in to integrate on your web applications all right all you have to do is just click on download the app over here all right download app and you can get the files okay in a real format okay a zip or an uh, archived file okay so i'm just going to click on this i'm going to just double click on it and this is the files okay so you can just use this and integrate it with your application right so this is a very powerful tool this is how you can use it as a developer or how to set up as a developer right now let me show you how you can create your api it's very simple when you check at the top you can see we have get api key or better still, you can click on dashboard over here it's all going to work fine so i'm going to click on get api key and you say i should save it yes so after you have generated your application make sure you save it so you have to just click on this and save it to google all right make sure you have already given access to uh to your google drive i'm just going to give assets all right so i've given it access and it is going to save it so i just have to click on save and it is going to save it for me right then after that i have to click on get api key now all right so get api key all right so this is it i'm going to click on create api then i'm going to give a name to my api okay but i can search it over here or i can just click on create api in new projects you understand so generating api key all right so this is my api key i'm going to cover it anyway so this is how you can create an api key right this is how you can sign up in google ai studio all you have to do is just visit the link at the description when you click on it you'll be redirected to it now make sure your google chrome browser has your google account signed in and automatically you will have access to google ai studio now if you are using a different browser like mozilla firefox or microsoft edge now you are going to see something different and this is what you are going to see all you have to do is just click on sign in to google ai studio now you'll be prompted to sign in with your google account make sure you sign in with your google account because you cannot use google ai studio without a google account what kind of project would you use google ai studio for let me know at the comment section i would love to hear your ideas this brings us to the end of this video make sure you like this video you give your comment at the comment section if you have any questions suggestions leave it at the comment section make sure you subscribe if you want this kind of content now let's meet in the next video Bye-bye.